Hello and welcome back. We are looking at higher maths functions and graphs, this time sketching parabolas, which builds upon our completing the square knowledge. So let's go straight into an example. A parabola has equation y equals 4x squared minus 12x plus 7. Express the equation in the form y equals, you now there should be a, that should be a bracket x plus b all squared plus c, because we're going to have a, a coefficient, this coefficient of x squared is going to come into it. We state the turning point of the parabola and its nature. So we have y equals 4x squared minus 12x plus 7. So let's complete the square. So let's take out a common factor of 4 from the x squared and the x terms, which we always do. Then we're going to complete the square for x squared minus 3x. We are then going to multiply the square bracket by 4. Remember the 7 is not in the square bracket, so we don't multiply that by 4. We are then going to tidy up. So we have 4 bracket squared minus 9 plus 7, which will be 4 bracket squared minus 2. Part B, state the turning point of the parabola and its nature. So if we're considering the just the y equals x squared parabola, which is a smiley face parabola going through 0, 0, the 4 at the front will stretch that parabola by a factor of 4, making it steeper. The x minus 3 over 2 all squared rather than x squared will move the graph 3 over 2 to the right. So rather than going through here, it's going to move along and do that. And then the minus 2 will move the whole graph down by 2. Okay, so we'll only ask for the turning point, but I've made a sketch of the graph anyway. Okay, so it's going to stretch it by a factor of 4, move it 3 over 2 to the right or 1.5 to the right if you like a decimal, but we do like a top every fraction at higher maths, and move it down by 2. So the minimum turning point, which is what I've been asked for in the question, at 3 over 2, comma negative 2. And if I'm making a sketch, I always want to know where the graph crosses the y-axis. So substituting 0 into the original equation, y equals 0 minus 0 plus 7. So the y-intercept would be at 7. Right, another question, sketch this parabola. So again, complete the square, take out a common factor of two as it's two x squared, complete the square on x squared minus four x, multiply out the square bracket, tidy up these terms at the end. Right, so I've done that work. Hopefully we're good at that if we've done the completing the square chapter uh, exercise. So what is this doing? This is stretching the graph by a factor of two uh, this moves the y equals x squared parabola 2 to the right. This would make move the y equals x squared parabola up by 5. So we have a normal parabola, or the y equals x squared parabola, which would be going through 0, 0. I'm going to move it 2 to the right and 5 up. What is the y coordinate when x equals 0? Well, we can substitute into here or into here because it's the same thing written in a different format. So 2, 0 squared, 0, minus 8, 0 is still 0, plus 13. So when x is 0, y is 13, which gives me the y-intercept. Okay, guys, so just recapping what we've done there. We have completed the square to get the given equation into a suitable format to sketch. And once we've done that, we can sketch the parabolas or if we're only asked for the minimum turning point, we could read it straight from here. But there's no harm in sketching for a bit of practice anyway.